long and short, I'm really looking at partnerships because the topic is very interesting in the sense that in the, from, the Af from Africa's perspective, we are also rising. So if you can look at ways in which we could do it together, you know, uh, find ways in which we could learn from China and also China learn from us. If entrepreneurs from China can benefit from entrepreneurs from Zimbabwe and essentially come to an understanding on how things work in Africa and how things work in China and always forge a working relationship going forward. And foremost, for, uh, in my case, um, Peking University has been more of a bridge to begin with. What this initiative they've started to begin with is something which is tremendous. Um, it has given, for instance, myself an opportunity to come and understand what Africa, well, what China is doing. And myself being a steward, I'll go back to Africa and also educate people on what is happening here. So this is in terms of opportunities, the culture, how people generally work. So this is the beginning or this is the first step to building a long-lasting relationship. So we are hoping to start to build on this relationship where myself, I will continuously be engaging with Peking University to find ways in which we can actually build this relationship which, which, which has started today going forward. And I'm really looking forward to hearing a Chinese perspective and an international perspective on the developments within the country that I've been hearing about and that I work on at, in my role at the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations. So I'm excited to hear the Chinese perspective on One Belt, One Road um, and bigger projects that I think are going on in Beijing. The last time I lived here was in 2012, 2013, and so it's really good to be back in the city and see Mo Bike Dansha like everywhere. And that was something that I didn't know before, but um, I am really excited to learn about the developments in China um, from a hands-on perspective and from a different perspective than I typically get in the United States. I, I approach the topic from a place of wanting to understand um, deeply held cultural beliefs um, and bringing them a, a group of people together in a symposium where um, we can discuss kind of our ideas and reach an understanding um, across cultures. And so I see that as the point of renaissance. And also I think this is a very hopeful group of people and optimistic young hard workers. And so I think it's a place where we can really consider um, and discuss what kind of projects we want to work on in the future and what kind of societies, both domestically and globally, we want to be striving to create.